Welcome to Psychic Circus. I am your host, Dr. Lars Dingman, the iTunes Psychic. We are back uh, for our weekly episode of uh, Psychic Tricks and Treats. Thanks for tuning in on the, the Facebook Live and uh, on the, the radio. Uh, we are here every uh, Tuesday afternoon from 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, the best way to follow us here is uh, iTunes Psychic on the Twitter and on the Facebook. And uh, if you need to uh, send us an email, it's iTunes Psychic at gmail.com. The website is iTunes Psychic. Dot com. Thank you for tuning in. We have a uh, good show planned for you today. Uh, for those of you that are joining us for the first time, uh, you know uh, that I am a psychic. You may not know how this works, however. You tell me the last three songs that you randomly heard, and then I will tell you your future. Before we get started, I want to thank uh, 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 Gary A. in uh, Venice, California. Gary uh, sent this to me in the mail. He said it's the all-seeing all-knowing eye. Uh, you can see that. That's an eyeball right there. It's kind of nice. I like that. I'm going to put that in my office. Thank you, Gary A., for sending that in. I appreciate it. Always good to hear from the fans. I do uh, shows all around the country. You can see my calendar of upcoming uh, shows on uh, my website, which is uh, iTunesPsychic.com. But uh, let's go. Let's take some phone calls, shall we? Brian. All right. Who's this? This is Brian. Hello, Brian. Thanks for calling in. What were your la- the last three songs uh, you randomly uh, played? Uh, Andy Grammer on the I'm Good, Fits in the Tantrums, Hand Clap, and Don't Want to Know, Maroon 5. Don't want... To- what was the first one? First one was Honey, I'm Good, Andy Grammer. Honey, I'm Good. So your songs are Honey, I'm Good, Hand Clap, Don't Want to Know. Don't want to know. You got it. All right, Brian. Uh, what I'm sensing here is uh, this is a, a personal uh, reading. Your, your business life is more or less uh, solid and secure. Yeah. Yeah. This is more. This is about your personal uh, life. Honey, I'm good. Hand clap. Don't want to know. You're currently in a relationship. I'm seeing. Yes, you got that. Yeah, and it's uh, going well. You think. I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what the hand clap is. That's the honey, I'm good. Uh, don't want to know. Uh, what that is telling me is that there is some trouble uh, brewing in your relationship. Uh, Uh-oh. And I think uh, it is not your partner. I think it is uh, you. Uh, have you been having second thoughts about how, how long you've been? I'm seeing two. You've been together with this person uh, two years, two months? Uh, actually, five. five. But you're close. Okay, five months or five years? Years. All right, well, then two is not close. That's far. Five well, years. Definitely. All right, and you are married, or this is just a dating arrangement? Married. Yeah, okay. All right, well, don't want to know. Uh, how has the communication been lately between you and the wife? I feel like it's been okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> don't want to know. Well, that's the hand clap. I mean, I'm a man. I, I, am I supposed to know how it's going? To me, right. everything seems fine. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. As long as you're fed and you get your sleep, it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, a few what, beers a week. Right. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is, honey, I'm good. Hand clap. Those are things. You're patting yourself on the back. Uh, your life is going well. Don't want to know. That's, that's what's uh, troubling me here. Um, I th- oh, no. I think perhaps, uh, you know what, that may be a positive thing. There are always, even in a successful uh, relationship, there are people uh, always trying to throw in negativity from the outside of the relationship. And this, what I'm seeing is this is, you don't want to know. You don't want to be bothered with this BS. You just want to continue with your happy life. You couldn't be more correct, friend. Yeah. You could not be more correct. And what I'm seeing, Brian, is uh, I think this is a past life coming through. Correct, friend. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. I'm seeing what sort of past life. Well, I'm seeing that you were a bee. You were a ah. You were not just a bee. You were a queen bee. A queen bee. A queen. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> what are you trying to say? No. Well, everyone, uh, people may not uh, all believe this, but it is a fact uh, in the universe that reincarnation is uh, the way that uh, uh, souls, essences, whatever you want to call it, are recycled, and you come back into Earth or wherever, and you learn. Uh, more things about yourself. And in a past life, you were a queen bee and you commanded all that you see. That's honey. I'm good. That's what the honey is. 
you, oh, okay. you were a so bee. I'm also sweet, though. I'm very sweet, though, well, right? Yes, you are very I'm sweet. sweet. Honey, yeah, <laughs> that's the good part. Hand clap. <laughs> the, the the queen was always uh, the focal point of, uh, you know, she is the queen of the hive and has always thrown uh, much love and uh, attention uh, by the drones and the worker bees. Uh, that is the hand clapping. And you don't want to know, you don't care uh, where they get <clears throat> the nectar. You don't just make the honey. That's it. Right? Make the honey. You don't care. Just make the honey. Yes. Uh, so I'm seeing, it's interesting that this life is coming through right now, that you were a queen bee, and I'm assuming now you're not a queen or a member of royalty. No, I'm not. In, in fact, I'm, if, if I was being compared to royalty, I'd be very low on the totem pole. Okay, good. Well, what I'm seeing, <laughs> what I'm seeing here is that you are living this particular life very successfully. You're, okay. you're, you're in a solid relationship. You are in, uh, you're in the arts uh, professionally, I'm sensing. Yes, sir. Yeah, and that is going uh, well. You, you, are, you are being uh, well paid uh, for your creative talents, and that is uh, unlike many people in the, the show business. You're doing well at this point, correct? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm surviving. Yeah, let's, let's put it that way. I, I like none of that. Surviving is good. Okay. All right. <laughs> I so, wouldn't know about weight paid well, but yeah. Well, not Tom Cruise well, but uh, <laughs> yes, right. you're doing... for that million-dollar check, Doc. Right. You're doing what you want to do. There you go. Okay. There you go. And I think this is the universe's way of just saying, you're on the right track, Brian. Continue to mm-hmm. stay on that track and uh, keep going on and doing on. And perhaps you will one day again be a king or a queen. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling, Brian. we got much more show coming up. You can give us a call here at 1-800-449-8686. This is Psychic Circus, and I am Dr. Lars Dingman. We'll be right back. You got to punch the button there, Gary. Welcome back to Psychic Circus. I am your host, Dr. Lars Dingman, the iTunes Psychic. Our next caller, Miko. Hello. Hello, Miko. How are you? I am good. How are you? I am excellent. What are the last three songs you randomly heard, Miko? Let's see. I heard Justin Bieber, Love Yourself. Mm-hmm. I heard, um, let's see, um, Black Beatles, Ray Murder. Race murder? Mm-hmm. Race murder. Race murder? Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's the name of the song? Race murder? No, the name of the song is Black Beatles. Black Beatles, okay. Black, yeah, Black Beatles. And then um, 24 Karat Magic, Bruno Mars. Okay. All right, so we've got Love Yourself, Black Beatles, mm-hmm. 24 Karat Magic, Miko. Yes. Okay, uh, let's see. What am I seeing? 24 Karat Magic. I'm seeing that you are very... Sparkly, you are very. There, there are there, there there are women who are mousy and quiet, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're not. Okay, all right. That's good. That's actually really true, though. Yeah, that's really true. Yeah, you are like the living embodiment of a sequined dress. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? When Miko <clears throat> walks into the room, everybody knows it. Am I right? So I shine is what you're trying to say. I'm a shiny girl. Right, you're shiny. You're, 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 you are, in a very good way, loud and beautiful and sparkly. Hey, I'm with it. Right? I'm and you enjoy, you, you enjoy the attention. I do. I, I do. I do. I can't even help myself. Yeah, that's the love yourself. Mm-hmm. That, that's the love yourself. Mm. So you've got the 24-karat magic. You're all that. You love yourself, mm. which helps other people love you. And uh, the, mm-hmm. black, uh, the Black Beatles is, uh, well... Um, Black Beatles tells me that you uh, you like alternative, right? There's Beatles. Everyone knows the Beatles. They were a, a rock band in the 60s. But Black Beatles would be the alternative to that. You like the edgier things in life. You, you are single right now, yes? Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. And you are playing the field. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And you called uh, today to see there was someone that you went out with uh, recently. I'm going to say within the last uh, six days that you okay. really liked, and now you're wondering if that's going to continue. Is that true? It's true. Who is it? Is he, is he going gonna, to gonna stay with me, or do I have to move on from him, too? Uh-huh. Well, uh, you've had more than one date with this person, yes? I have. Yeah, I'm seeing, I have. I'm seeing three, three dates? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, wow. 
You're good. Well, I'm a psychic, Nico. That's what I do. You give me these song titles, <laughs> and these song titles, they play movies in my head. And when I see, I see three dates. Uh, so I'm, I'm also seeing. And these song titles. I'm also seeing that uh, you've already, uh, uh, you've already given it up. No, shh. We don't talk about it. But I'm right, aren't I, Nico? I didn't say you were wrong, but we just don't talk about it. Come on now. All right, so Miko's, you've already, uh, you're already spreading your love. You're loving yourself and this person after three dates. That's nothing wrong with that. Believe me, I'm, I'm a very uh, big uh, supporter of uh, free love, or reasonably priced, right? Right. There you go. There you go. And you're wondering if this. I, I'm seeing. Uh, is is his name Bryce or Kevin? It's actually, it's actually Kevin. Yes. Kevin, yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Again, why do you keep being surprised? I'm a psychic, Miko. This is what I do. I know. I know. I, this, I, know, All, I right. know. All right. So you've been on three dates with this person named Kevin. You've already right. slept with him. Right. And uh, I'm sensing that he thought that it was magic, the sexual congress yeah. that you enjoyed with him. But well, you, you have not heard from help. him. This was six days ago, what? and you have not heard from him enough. You're a little nervous, yeah? Right. It's like, you know, dude, I, I I pulled out my good tricks for you. What are you doing? Yeah, and I'm I'm sensing you've got a lot of good tricks, Miko. I really do. Yeah. If, if, Sparkly ones. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, in your panoply of sexual uh, pleasures and tricks, what's what's your go-to? Now, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. You know, I can't tell all my good, my good tricks. Miko, I'm Let's just... Let's just say that everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Yeah, love yourself. Right, that's the key. That's the first song you said. Love yourself. You're mm-hmm. a, you're about love and satisfaction. You're about that's magic right. and gold. I'm a giver. You are. Yes. I'm a giver. Yes, you are. Well, what I'm seeing with this Kevin person is you've 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 already uh, you've already uh, you know the, the the horse is out of the barn, mm-hmm. right? And you're wondering if it's going to come back to you. What? You're wondering if perhaps uh, you uh, you tipped your hand a little too much. I was trying not to, but I mean, you know, you know, you know, the magic started happening. What was I supposed to do? There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that, uh, Miko. You, you when, when you're being intimate with someone, you want to be in the moment and in the muse and and uh, share with them physically uh, to the best. Of your ability. That's the essence of, of lovemaking, at least uh, as far as I understand it. And I see that's what you're doing. I, I see... What I'm seeing is, uh, Kevin, there's a black uh, Paul over Kevin. I think he is uh, afraid. I think he is uh, he uh, is a little intimidated by your mastery of the sexual arts. Oh, oh no. So... That could be true, though. That could be true because he said he hasn't really been around a lot. And, um, you know, I try, like I said, I pulled out my good tricks for him. Right. So it's highly possible. It's like wow. it's like you took a Boy Scout uh, to bed and you blew his merit badge, among <laughs> other things, I'm sure. <laughs> or maybe I earned mine. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah. I think I think you, 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 the, the, the Black Beatles song. The blackness, he's, he's afraid. He's in the dark. He is afraid. Mm. And if you really <clears throat> like him, I think uh, mm. what has to happen is you have to let him come to you. Don't don't uh, text him. Uh, don't call him. Uh, don't reach out to him. Wait for him to come back to you. And then maybe dial it down to seven uh, the next time you see him. You know, don't. Okay, so in other words, I need to diminish my shine so that he won't feel intimidated? Exactly. At first. At first, okay. Obviously, okay. you want to be with uh, someone who understands you for who you are. However, I, I'm sensing you are so, so big, right? You are so shiny and bold and uh, sparkly. You're a walking sequin dress. Some people, they feel intimidated and uh, they feel that perhaps you've been around the block too many times for them and they're intimidated. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. What you right. what you need to do, Miko, is uh, metaphorically take his hand and don't run around the block with him. Uh, walk casually, like you were walking a small dog. <laughs> right. I think the first time that you were together, you were in a full out sprint around the block. Ah, mm, that could be true. That could be true. Take he some... was aspiring that way. Y- yes. 
Yes, well, men, men that's how uh, men are. They inspire you and you get caught up in it. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Once, once you've known him for a longer period of time, he will uh, respect and uh, really enjoy that. But right now I feel that he's a little inti- uh, intimidated is the best word. That's the blackness in the Beatles uh, that I'm seeing. But he likes everything else. So perhaps dial it back a little bit, suck him in, and then, uh, you know, uh, gradually uh, unleash your inner freak. <laughs> So in other words, I should just put the freak flag down for now. Yeah, you know what? And then and then running up the flag pole little by little, like maybe playing half mass right now. Exactly. Right now, it's like I you're flying do- one of those giant uh, flags. Mm-hmm. Maybe change it to the one of the little flags that people put on their cars. You know, okay, okay, okay. Like when their team okay, is winning. That That's what I'm saying. Don't Thanks. stop flying okay. your flag because your flag is 24 gold, carrot, magic. You love yourself. Yeah. That's all good. But... Uh, pull it back a little bit, and uh, uh, I, I, I feel that uh, I feel that this could be a good. I'm seeing a long term thing here with this guy, uh, <clears throat> Kevin, and uh, I think if you pull back a little bit, that that'll actually happen if you don't scare him off. That's what I'm seeing. Oh wow, thank you. That's good. I'm glad to hear long term. That's always good. It is, Mika. All right. Well, thank you for calling. You crazy, crazy broad. It was great to talk to you. Give us a call in a couple thank weeks you. and let us know how it went. For sure. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Miko. All right. Our next caller, Amanda. Welcome to Psychic Circus. Hi, Dr. Lars. How are you? So, I'm good. How are you today? I am excellent. Uh, awesome. What were the last three songs you randomly played? George Michael, Father Figure, Black Crow, She Talks to Angels, and L. King's America's Sweetheart. America's Sweetheart. So, Father Figure... She talks to angels, America's sweetheart, Amanda. This is correct, Dr. Lars. All right. I'm seeing uh, that you also are single currently. I am. Yeah. And you've been single for quite some time. This is true, doctor. Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing at least six months. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, But you have had uh, relations during that period, but not with anyone that you would consider uh, boyfriend material. That is true. Okay. Uh, That's the father figure. You, 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 you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. You, anything you want to tell me about that, Amanda? I, I, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Amanda's got daddy issues is what I'm seeing. <laughs> That's what the song is. Father figure. She talks to yes. angels. America's sweetheart. You want yes. everyone uh, to think that you are. Uh, you're just America's sweetheart. Cute. Nice. <laughs> little girl uh, but deep down uh you got daddy issues which can be good <laughs> you're, you're not wrong right uh, especially sexually uh women with daddy issues <laughs> right i guarantee you the previous call amico major daddy issues that's why she's all bling and i'm sensing got the, it. i'm sensing the same thing from you amanda she, you, just got, you just got a whole lot of ladies with daddy issues calling you today. Yeah, well, wh- what else are they going to do? They need help. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> she Talks to Angels, your third song. Yes. This, uh, what this tells me is you, are, you enjoy playing the field, but you are, I don't know if you're a religious person, but you are wishing, you are praying, you are hoping to find uh, someone special in your life. That is true, Doctor. Right now, you're you're playing, as I said, you're playing the field, but what you want is you want a steady person. Correct. In your life. I'm seeing that you have had a long-term serious relationship before. Yes, sir. I'm seeing that you are 36 years old. (laughs) This is amazing. Yes. You are are entirely accurate. 36 on the nose. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, So you've had a serious... In four days, but yes. Okay, well, I think that's close enough, right? <laughs> With uh, leap years, <clears throat> 36 on the nose. Uh, happy early birthday, by the way. Why, thank you, doctor. Uh, and th- this previous long-term uh, relationship, I'm seeing four. Four years? How long was the relationship? Was it a marriage or was it just a live-in kind of relationship? Uh, we were not legally married. It was eight years. Eight years, okay. So twice the four. All right, so that's a long time. And then that, uh, that broke up due to... Uh, Due to uh, boredom and infidelity is what I'm seeing. That is correct, once again. Right? America's sweetheart. 
That was part of it. You were maybe a little, uh, a little uh, too sweet, and then you were a little too dirty. The, the infidelity I see was on your part. Oh, incorrect, Doctor. Uh, he cheated on you. He did. Okay. All right. I'm not always right. I'm just. I see the infidelity. I see the pain and the hurt that the infidelity causes. So I've seen that you are. You've been hurt before. You were in a long-term eight-year relationship. And what these three songs are saying, Father Figure, She Talks to Angels, and America's Sweetheart, is that you are aching uh, for uh, a permanent, long-term lover and friend. Yes. And where you are going to find that, that's the question. That is the question. I'm seeing... All right, she talks to angels, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't sense that you are a particularly... uh, Particularly religious, church-going person, no? Not particularly, no. no. So I think the angels is more of a metaphor. Um, <laughs> I, I see, I see, uh, but angels sing. Angels are, uh, I, I'm seeing uh, big, loud singing. I'm, I'm seeing an angel, like, a, 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 like bellowing, like a, like, a, like a bat out of hell, screaming... <laughs> Singing loudly, uh, that's your soul. Yes, yes. Go on. So, so where, do the, where do the bellowing angels from hell come into my love life? Well, uh, I'm going to have to tell you after our break. We're up against the commercial. Uh, hang, uh-huh. hang tight, Amanda. We'll be right back. This is Psychic Circus. I'm Dr. Lars Dingman. Don't go away. We are back to Psychic Circus. I am your host, Dr. Lars Dingman. You can find me here every Tuesday on the Facebook Live at 2 to 3 p.m. on uh, Pacific Time on Facebook Live. You can also hear us on America's Talk, the premier radio network's uh, America's Talk station on iHeartRadio. And you can always find uh, shows that you've missed archived on my website, which is iTunespsychic.com, as well as uh, right on the Facebook page, which is iTunes Psychic, one word, and follow us on the Twitter, which is is iTunes a psychic. We're talking to Amanda. You still there, Amanda? I'm still here, Doctor. All right, so Amanda, you've got her father figure. She talks to angels, America's sweetheart. And before the break, I was saying that I'm singing a big... I, I'm seeing a big angel uh, screaming, uh, bellowing <laughs> loudly. And this is your soul, right? You've got these, yes. these daddy uh, issues. Uh, I, I sense that your, your father is... Uh, a very good man, but a big, uh, strong, imposing figure. You are correct, sir. And perhaps uh, the boys that you bring around, uh, uh, do you feel that you need <clears throat> his approval? Uh, yeah. Okay. Usually. Right, okay. It's a nice thing to have your daddy approve. Sure it is. They have nothing but uh, the best uh, in mind uh, for you, right? Well, I'm, I'm seeing that there's a conflict between uh, your... your, your your, your, your carnal needs and desires, and America's Sweetheart, another one of your songs. You're caught in between. You want to appear to be America's Sweetheart, but really, uh, you're, a, you know, you're a dirty, filthy girl deep inside. <laughs> Which is a good thing. It is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sex is, is uh, filthy and dirty because <clears throat> it's supposed to be. Right? Right? That's what hooks people. <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, your search is being stymied to find that special person uh, in your life. You're talking to angels to try and find this person. I think what you need to do, the angels thing, uh, uh, you need to... Uh, you you need... Uh, are you a baseball fan? I am. Okay. I, I'm for some reason I'm seeing that this angels refers to the California. Are you are you in California currently? I am, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Someone in the California Angels organization. <laughs> well, I got to get on that then. I got to get down to Anaheim. Yes. Well, not necessarily one of the ball players, but someone that works. It could be a beer vendor. It could be an usher. It could be a ball player. I don't know. But it's someone in the professional uh, baseball uh, organization 
and the, the question is, how do you meet this person? What I would do if I were you. Please, doctor. I would find out where they uh, have their spring training. Spring training starts in about a month. Uh, that's clever. I believe it's, uh, they're probably in Arizona, would be my guess. Okay. Uh, perhaps arrange a trip with some friends. Uh, Arrange, ma- okay. Uh, ooh. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing February 26th. Write that down. <laughs> February 26th. Try okay. and be in uh, the spring training February 26th and go to a barbecue place. <laughs> okay. And, and you will meet, you will meet someone that could and the man's name will be Gary or Harry. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Why is that funny to you, Gary or Harry? So on the 26th, somewhere in Arizona, at the Angels um, training camp, yes. I will meet a man named Gary. In a barbecue restaurant. At a barbecue restaurant. Yes. I can't forget. Okay, the barbecue restaurant. That's what I'm seeing. That's because you're, 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 she talks to angels. Your soul has been communicating with the universe. And these three songs is your answer. I'm helping so, you. De- so, doctor, when I meet Gary at the barbecue restaurant in Arizona, will you, will you come to our wedding then? If it works out, absolutely. I can perform uh, weddings. Excellent. Perfect. And what I want you to do is give us a call uh, the week after this. If you go, if you don't go, it's not, I, there's nothing I can do. But if you, I, could, I understand. if you can arrange to go there and be there that week, uh, I, I I feel very strongly uh, that someone will cross paths with you. But it's got to be a barbecue restaurant. I don't know if there are barbecue restaurants in uh, Phoenix. But, but uh, I'll look into it. I'm sure there must be a barbecue restaurant in Phoenix. Right, you would think. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, 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 and and uh, play it cool. Okay. You know, you'll, you'll uh, perhaps run into someone. And then before the night is over, ask them what they do and... Uh, uh, I, I'm sensing they will be involved in some way in the California organ, uh, the California Angels organization. Excellent. That's what I'm seeing. I like the plan, Doctor. All right. Well, good luck, Amanda. Please call us back uh, the first week in March and let us know how it went. I absolutely will. I promise. All right. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you for calling. Thank you, Doctor. You have a wonderful day. You too. All right. There you go. I'm in the zone today, Barry. Yeah, I'm seeing very clearly. I don't know if it's because it's the new year. Or I had a really good lunch. I had a, uh, uh, a quinoa bowl. Yeah, and I don't, I, I, I'm just seeing things <clears throat> very clearly today. I, uh, I hope that works out for Amanda. Uh, our next caller, Ken. Go ahead, you're on the air. No, Ken? Ken hung up? Ken couldn't stay on the line. All right, Ken. That's all right. You can call back if you like. If you're listening or watching us on Facebook Live, the number is one 800 449 Eight six eight six. For those of you that are joining us for the first time and don't understand uh, how this works, the universe is sentient and alive. And when you hear songs, you think randomly. Uh, they're not random. This is the universe throwing ideas at you to help guide you back onto the path uh, that you need to be on. That's why these are important. Uh, do we have Ken back? Yes, we do. Hey. All right, Ken. Thank you for calling. What are your three songs? Uh, Wargasm by L7, Blackened by Metallica, and Girls Got Rhythm by ACDC. Wargasm, which is a play on words. Blackened. And what was the last one? Girls Got Rhythm. Girls Got Rhythm, and that's ACDC. Correct. All right. These are all very loud songs, Ken. Yes, they are. These are very uh, frantic, loud uh, songs, and I'm seeing that that is what your life is right now. You are at the center of a very loud uh, conniption of a life, and it's starting to wear on you. Yes. Uh, uh, Obviously, uh, you're not a farmer, you would not be com- no. you would not be comfortable or happy living where it's always quiet and calm. Uh, you enjoy the. I would go ahead. No, I would like to be more calm, but at the moment it's just not right. Everything is insane and crazy. 
Uh, so you know what I'm going to do? <clears throat> I'm going to let you calm yourself during this commercial break, and we'll come right back, and I will analyze these three songs. Don't go away, Ken, and don't go away anyone else. You're listening to Psychic Circus. I'm Dr. Lars Dingman. Welcome back to Psychic Circus. I am your host, Dr. Lars Dingman. We're talking to Ken on the phone. His three songs are Wargasm, Blackened, and Girls Got Rhythm. As I was saying before the break, Ken, you're, these are all very frantic, frenetic, loud, jangly songs. And that's what's the problem in your life right now. Uh, I feel that you're being buffeted by <clears throat> forces that you feel are out of your control. A little bit, yes. Uh, there's a lot of uh, spilkes in your business work life, uncertainty. Yeah, pretty much, for the most part. Right. Uh, in the past, I'm seeing two years ago, uh, your work life was much more secure. And you knew day to day what you'd be doing and where you'd be going, and you were calm there. But in the last three months, four months actually, uh, there's been a lot of uncertainty injected into it. And you don't know if you're going to keep your job, if there are people at your job who are uh, actively lobbying uh, for trouble for you? Does this sound accurate? Uh, pretty close. Yeah. Uh, the songs, the first one, Wargasm, which of course is a play on words, uh, combining one of the greatest things in life with one of the worst things in life. Yes. Right? Yes. That, that disharmony, that, uh, that friction is what you're feeling in your business life. Blackened darkness it used to be sunny and beautiful now it's all dark yeah. right yeah almost not quite but almost getting dark but girls got rhythm there's there's a woman in your life uh, that you're happy with yeah i would like it to be yes okay uh the, you're not sure if this woman is totally in your life this is someone you've met recently uh, about a year. Yeah. And uh, things are going good, then they're not, then they're good, then they're not. It's like a like a, a person that doesn't know how to drive a stick shift uh, driving up a hill. You, you, you might get there, but you're going to have whiplash. Yes. Okay. So what you would like is some stability <clears throat> and some uh, certainty. And you're not getting that in your business life. So what I think the universe is telling you, is that this girl's got rhythm. This girl can put you back into your rhythm, could put the mojo back into your life. But there's something standing in the way uh, between you and her making a very solid quality relationship, yeah? Yes. Is there a th another person involved? Yeah, at the moment, yes. Yeah. On her side. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, there's someone else in her life that is complicating your life. To a lesser degree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She can't fully commit to you right now is the problem. Correct. Okay. What I'm seeing <clears throat> would be helpful to you is for you to take back control, Ken. Okay. That's what uh, the girl's got rhythm. This girl, is, she's got rhythm. She is in her zone and you are shut out to a certain extent. So you need to, uh, I don't want to say give her an ultimatum, but I think you have to make your intentions clear and tell her that if uh, she wants to pursue this other person, she should go do that, but uh, she can't have you too. Understood. That's the wargasm. You're going to war over your desire for this woman. And if you truly believe that she is the right woman for you, that when you tell her this, it will force her to re-examine her life. You can't force her to choose. You can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. But you can make clear to her what your desire is and what your intentions are. And if you, okay. have, if you have enough self-respect and confidence in yourself to say, this is what I want. If you can't give it to me, I have to go. Uh, I think that will work. Is, this woman's name begins with an S? No, uh, an H. 
Is there an S in her name? No, there is not. Okay. I'm hearing S. S. Like a. Ooh, maybe she's a snake. Do you trust her? Not sure yet. After a year, you're not sure, Ken? Yeah, still not sure. Okay, well, then you can't trust her, Len. You can't. Trust her. Okay. I mean, if after a year, that's not an emphatic yes, then she's not. Uh, she's not worth it. If you can't trust okay. her. If she, you know what you what you what you need, I'm sensing now very clearly is self-respect. She's not treating you the way you want to be treated. You can't trust her. After a year, you got to move on. No matter how much you you like her or are attracted to her, you're better than that, Ken. You should have you should be having wargasms with other women who appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. It shouldn't be a wargasm. It should be an orgasm. There's a difference. Yes, there is. Right. Even look at right. this, the songs that came up, even the ones that deal with your sexual congress with this woman are negative. War. All three of these songs. Wargasm, that's negative. Blackened. Unless you're talking about a delicious catfish, that's negative. <laughs> yeah. Girls got rhythm. I think she's I think she's playing the song with someone else. Quite possibly. So you need to decide. If you don't trust her, Ken, you got to move on. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, I appreciate the phone call. Uh, give us a call in a couple of weeks and let us know uh, what you did and how it turned out, would you please? Sure thing. All right. Thank you so much for calling. You too. Bye. So many times the universe is smarter uh, than we are, right? Most of the things that I <clears throat> tell people are things that they should already know themselves. Things that they know in their heart, but they don't want uh, to believe. And what the universe does by being alive and awake and understanding everything and everyone in it with these songs. You think you're driving down the street and uh, you hear a song. Oh, that's weird. I was just thinking about such and such and this song is related to that. It's not a coincidence. It's, it's the universe saying, hey, wake up. This girl's cheating on you. She's got rhythm. She's banging some other guy in a van down by the river. And when she's with you, uh, she's having a wargasm. Not good. Not good. The universe is sentient. Some people call it God. Some people call it Vishnu. Other people call it uh, whatever. The force. <coughs> but it's the same thing. We all have different words for it. Some people use a Macintosh computer. Uh, some people use a uh, PC. But when you type up a piece of paper, it looks the same when it comes out. So it doesn't really matter what we call it, this energy, this universe. But I can tell you that the entire universe is based on vibration. Songs are sound vibrations. And this is the universe's way of communicating with us when we need to see something that perhaps we don't want to see or we're unable to see. Amanda had uh, daddy issues. Uh, 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 Miko was so sparkly, uh, she couldn't see her own life in front of her. Ken is banging some broad that's cheating on him. And he knows it. After a year, if you can't trust someone, it's time to move on. And the universe, this is the universe's way of just gently nudging you. Have some self-respect. Move on. That's all. That's all it is. A lot of heavy stuff on the show today. Let's see if our next caller is a little more light and uh, silly. Kelsey! Welcome to the program. Thank you. Hi. How are you? I am doing well. I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? I'm excellent. You sound... We've been having a lot of heavy, uh, serious calls on the show today. You sound like you're a little more silly and fun. <laughs> I hope so. That's how I approach life. All right. What are your three songs? So my three songs are... It's actually all from the same album. Fine. The these are randomly... These are songs that you randomly heard, though, right? Oh, well, these are songs, I mean, I randomly heard them because it's, uh, it's in my phone. I was doing a session with a client, uh -huh. and these were songs that were coming up in the session. Got it. Does that okay. makes sense? Okay. Sure. Um, so the album is, um, it was from the artist is Deuter, and it's spelled D-E-U-T-E-R, and the song was called Koyasan. Koyasan? <laughs> Koyasan? Um, Koyasan? Yeah, K-O-Y-A-S-A-N, Koyasan. Okay. 
Um, and then I'll tell you, so then next one would be, um, it's a Latino song from an artist called um, Danza. Um, the song is called Danza Kuduro. And um, I'm trying to find the name of the artist, but the artist is Daniel, um, Don Omar. Okay. And then the other song is Bob Marley. And um, it was, uh, which one was it? Three Little Birds. Okay, these are strange. So we've got Three Little, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. Uh-huh. Danza Cradulo. Caduro, K-A-D-U-R-O. Okay, Danza Cadulo. Uh-huh. And Toyasan. Yes. <laughs> I see that you are going to go on a trip. Ooh. Do you have any plans to travel currently? Yeah, I mean, I, I travel a lot. I'm leaving this Friday to go to New York. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing an airplane trip. I'm seeing you going someplace that is strange. And different, and believe me, there's <clears throat> no place stranger than New York City. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Uh, that's what these songs are telling me. Three Little Birds, Danza Cradulo, Toyasan. You're going to travel uh, to another city, and you are traveling, uh, I'm seeing, uh, for a uh, business purpose. Yes, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you are meeting, <clears throat> you're meeting two women there. Great. True or false? Do you know? The, the, well, I'm definitely, I'm definitely meeting women there because I'm on a trip. I'm going to be doing uh, meetings with my publicist on Monday and Tuesday. and I, So I know I'll be meeting most likely a lot of new women as well. Okay. Uh, that's what the three little birds are. Oh, cool. Right. The birds, uh, the British people call them birds. They're women. Uh, uh, you're going to New York where people speak all kinds of languages and there's an overwhelming stench of urine. That would be New York. Right. That is New York. <clears throat> it's the greatest city in the world. Just ask yeah. any New Yorker. I agree. My, my husband's not from New York, but he's from New Jersey, and we go to New York often because right. we both love it. Okay. What I'm seeing is that you are going to go, uh, and you're going to have uh, this, uh, you're going to be uh, communing with these birds, uh, these women, mm -hmm. and they're very powerful, and they are going to help you achieve uh, some uh, project that you've been working on a very long time. Are you, you're a... You're you're a you're cre you're a writer of some kind, either books or music. Oh my god, that's amazing! I have not. I am intending to write my first book, but I haven't quite started it yet. So I need to hear these things because I'm scared to write it. But I know that it's intended and that I need to do it. Yeah, well, that's what this trip is. That's why you called me. That's what these songs are. Oh my god, that's so. Exciting. These songs are telling you that you need to start writing that book. You actually, you've already begun writing it. You need to start collecting it and editing it. And you've got the idea. Yeah. You've got pieces in your computer or wherever. And you need to start folding it all together and uh, make it into a book. And these three little birds are going to give you encouragement and some sort of financial inducement to actually allow you to do this. That's what I'm seeing. This is going to be a very big trip for you, Kelsey. Thank you. Very big. <laughs> Excited. All right. Well, have a great trip. Uh, travel safely and give us a call when you get back and let us know if I was correct and uh, exactly what happened while you were in New York City. I absolutely will. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for calling. Is Bye. that the end of the show? Man, that flew by today. Well, I appreciate you watching and uh, listening. I am Dr. Lars Dingman, the iTunes Psychic. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter at iTunes Psychic. Uh, you can also find us on the website is itunespsychic.com. And, of course, every Tuesday from 2 to 3 p.m., you can find us right here on Facebook Live at iTunes Psychic. iTunes Psychic. iTunes Psychic. iTunes Psychic.